All right, guys. Hi. So I told you guys I'll be starting a garden inside. So we're going to be gardening inside because of where I live, um, and I don't want to garden outside. So I bought myself a greenhouse. As you guys can see, and as you guys can see, I'm in the house. As you can see my curtains. So I bought myself a greenhouse. All right. There's Laverne and Shirley <laughs> sitting on the sides. And there's a door here. You just tie your door up. All right. So let's take a tour inside my greenhouse. All right. So when you get in here, you see this rug. I want to get some more pieces like this from the Dollar Tree. I think they're nice to have in here. So I'm going to get one more piece I think will fit in here and it will be perfect. And so there you go. And when you come in, this is what it looks like. So let's turn it around. So you guys can see everything. So as you see up there on the top, I have a fan and I have a light. These lights I got from um, Home Depot. You can get them for $39.99. The, also the fans for $14.99, okay? So I have four lights in here and I have them going this way. As you see the one already I show you and then that one in the back there. All right, I got that sign from Target that says Bloom on it. Okay. So, and then the tent you can get off of eBay, Amazon, wherever you prefer to get it from. Um, my tent, it doesn't come with this paper here. This is Mylar paper. It's like, um, it's more of attracting heat and sun or attracting light so the light can bounce off inside to help my plants grow all right so let's get started on seeing what we have here all right oh and then i have my little baby that i got from the dollar tree so okay now this is butter crunch lettuce love this taste of this lettuce it's really good i love this on sandwiches all right and these are two just different mixes of uh salads salad mix so you got like a red one you have a green one and a red one mixed all right and over here i started some seedlings so you have some mint in there then i have some basil there i have some cherry tomatoes in there let's see and then i have some sage there All right so let's go over here then i have some uh this is prism kale that i have here Okay, and then let's go to the bottom. Just down here is the candy cane uh, peppers I wanted to try. So I've never had candy cane peppers. I heard they're sweet and they taste delicious. So I want to try them. So I'm going to grow them and let's try them together. Okay, and these are the candy cane peppers. All right. And then in here, I started some seedlings about a week ago. And these in front are the super sugar snap peas okay and then what is that strawberries but i don't think the strawberries are going to grow i think i should check that out and i have some llama beans in the back there so just really llama beans and sugar snap peas in here all right all right let's go over here to this side over here is just i think it's just carrots and chives if i'm not mistaken i don't think it's um seeds in there something's growing in there you can see let's see. see it below the sign something's growing in there so that's in there and then we have some strawberries and these are uh what are these strawberries the ones keep constantly growing so those kind of strawberries those are right there all right and down here, my sweet potato, uh, what are these? I forget what these, shoots. Okay, so I have a few shoot, uh, sweet potato shoots. And then I have some sweet potatoes that rooted, so I put those inside the dirt. So that's what these are in here, sweet potatoes. Then I have some mixed bell peppers back there. Um, so I will be taking those out and uh, potting them into their own individual pots there. Then I do have some uh, Spanish, what is it? Spanish variety peppers back there. I will be potting those in a different pot also. All right. And then I have an orange tree here. 
this orange tree is made for indoors which is really nice so i like that so i cannot wait to get some treats off of this um now you got to keep in mind when you buy fruit trees like lemons limes and all that type of stuff mostly it takes about a year two years maybe three years to grow so give it patience give yourself time and patience just to watch the development of your tree okay so that's what that is and this is all about this series is all about actually growing food in home not just starting and, and taking it out we are starting start from finish uh from start to finish we're going to be doing this inside inside the garden okay in the uh, greenhouse all right we're not taking our food outside all right now this is the tomato here the tomato plant and let's see this is the sweet million cherry tomato okay and here is white potatoes there in that corner is hmm, parsley and i can't see that sign back there I forget what's back there all right right here some more peppers and these are the hot banana peppers love banana peppers they're so good so i got some banana peppers growing all right this here is a lemon tree and this is a myers lemon tree okay so small Lemon tree will develop fruits for you, okay? It's not going to get as big as a regular lemon tree, all right? But this is the Myers lemon tree, okay? And this just arrived today, so I just got that today. Um, these are lemon seeds here that I'm growing out. So, really good stem on it. So, they really got some good stems on there, but yeah. So, I'm growing these. Uh, these are, uh, I got these from the store, like the lemon. And then I cut open the lemon and got the seeds out of it, so... That's what these are here. Then I have two banana plants. One right here. This is a Musa uh, cabinet plant. And then this one is supposed to be a... It looks like a Musa too. But it's just supposed to be a teeny tiny banana plant. Alright? So maybe that's what it is too. So yeah, I have those two banana plants right there. Alright? Now and up here... These are, this is a uh, spearmint. Then I have some sweet mint. Another one of these little art pieces. Then I have some fresh bite orange peppers. Yep. And then these are some kales that I sprouted out for myself. Okay. So, so far, so good. Also, <coughs> My humidifier we got from CBS, All right? And I just have a little stool in here for myself so when I'm in here sitting down. And then I have a spray bottle to spray my plants every day. Now for the for my humidifier, when I turn this on, is when I when I turn it on is when it feels like it's dry and stuffy in here. And I turn it on for about a good ten minutes and let it get moist in here. And then I'll open up the door and let it air out so it can dry up in here. Um, so, yeah, that's what I use that for. And then um, I found this. It uh, looks like a little small, teeny, like, kid's bit frame. I, I found this. So I'm going to use this as a trellis. So, yeah. This is my wonderful, wonderful greenhouse. Absolutely love my greenhouse. Really, really nice. I enjoy this greenhouse. My boyfriend helped me put it up, so I'm so excited. We put it up yesterday. And I'm just really excited for this greenhouse, guys. So, if you want to follow this channel, all about actually gardening inside home without taking out your food. Because you live in an apartment building where you're in a hot rise and you can't take your food out. Or you can't put it out on a patio or anything. This is all about greenhouse gardening in home only. No takeout. Stay tuned, guys. We're going to be talking about something next, all right? And welcome to my new subscribers and to my old subscribers for staying with me and also texting me and asking me how I'm doing. I appreciate that from you guys. I really do appreciate that. It lets me know you guys are missing what my content. Not only I had a death in the family, not only that, I mean, the post office, it, it just kills you. You know, you're working to death, okay? So, but I got a little time, so I wanted to show you guys what I've been up to lately. So, my everything has been growing lovely and wonderful, and I can't wait to eat. Some of this is already ready for harvest already, like my um, salads here, my lettuce, my kale, 
So, you know what I mean? It's ready to harvest, ready to eat. So, I'm so excited, guys. All right, all right. So, let me step out. And if you are ready to garden in home in a greenhouse, hit the subscribe button. Hit your like button. Leave me a comment. You know what to do.